I'm still on a mission to bring this Falcon jet home. Buying an aircraft is a complex process. And buying one outside the country at the height of the pandemic is an even more complicated transaction. After being serviced at the Dassault Falcon facility in Le Bourget, it's time to bring the aircraft back to Luxembourg, its country of origin, to iron out some paperwork. After a thorough inspection, it's my first flight on the plane, and I intend to sit back and enjoy it. It's great being able to fly your own uh, aircraft. I have all the space here, and I don't even have to worry about uh, having any COVID patient in the plane. So this is great. I really enjoy this. And I have plenty of space all the way here to the back. But of course today, I won't be sleeping. It's a very quick flight, and I'm excited to see Luxembourg. From Paris, it was only a 30-minute flight to Luxembourg. Luxembourg's compact size can make it easy to overlook for travelers. But this small European nation, bordered by Belgium, Germany, and France, is big in historical sites. Surrounded by powerful neighbors, Luxembourg needed to protect itself with defensive fortresses, building fairy tale like castles in almost every side of the country. In the Middle Ages, the Counts of Luxembourg became wealthy and influential, and the settlements soon became a small country. Three members of the House of Luxembourg became Holy Roman Emperors, and the fortress city had a strategic position in the heart of Europe. I find myself here, in a brief moment of normalcy, being able to explore the city. The city is actually built on a natural fortification, so going around town, you'll have to go up and down a lot of steps. Good exercise for me. I'm looking down from the Corniche. They say this is the most beautiful balcony in Europe where you can see the old town. The old city center is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, said to be a fine example of military architecture over generations. The winding streets are filled with historical buildings and palaces from different time periods all within walking distance of each other. Luxembourg is the only remaining Grand Duchy in the world, which means it is governed by a Grand Duke or Duchess. When the Duke is in the city, he resides and conducts business here at the Grand Ducal Palace. Luxembourg is now a very cosmopolitan and multicultural city. In fact, almost 50% of its population are from other countries. Immigration in droves began in the 19th century and continued to this day. This is apart from the employees from neighboring countries doing the daily commute to work in the city. Because of this, don't be surprised to find different kinds of international cuisine in almost every street. Travelers who find themselves in this part of Europe won't have a hard time finding their favorite dishes from any corner of the world. You can find any type of restaurant around town, but for me, my favorite is this peppermint because it's a mixture of Vietnamese, Thai, Malaysian, it's very Asian, and they have rice. They gave me some starters. Uh, they said this is fried chicken, 
and I think this is pickled papaya. Looks very good. Let's try it. from home. This high degree of openness to different cultures has also contributed to Luxembourg's robust economic growth. It is currently the wealthiest country in the world in terms of GDP per capita. Crime rate is low with only two jails in the entire country and it offers the highest minimum wage anywhere in Europe. Luxembourg's national motto, plastered on its old buildings, we want to stay what we are, is both a statement born of its past and its vision for the future. I'm glad that the aircraft we are trying to bring home allowed me to learn more about this fascinating little country with so much to offer. Up next, join me as I finalize the process of the Falcon purchase until it bears a Philippine registry as it finally finds its way home.